We have managed to create the know-how about how to do these things here. So I think, uh, I mean, in my, in my own opinion, the best uh, output, outcome of this ACFEST is that uh, now there are people here that know how to deploy collaborative services, how to integrate scientific applications and, uh, and make uh, uh, a scientist profit of running this application and producing results. And the results can be stored in an open access repository, can be connected to ORCID and make Ethiopian science more visible and more findable. So I think that has been a very good experience. So now, <clears throat> unless there are comments from the audience, we will close this session and then we will reconvene. Ah, yeah, sure, Margaret, please. Somehow I'm, I have been on the first day uh, here and on the last day somehow. Um, I'm, uh, you might know I'm working with ESC, with the Education Strategy Center, and I work very closely also with Salalam and mm -hmm. Professor Roberto from the international side. And I'm very, very glad that we could bring the Hackfest here to Ethiopia. Because here in Ethiopia, you have the infrastructure. No other African country has that, as far as I understood. Roberto, please correct yeah. me. But as far as I understood from the Wakran event, from the Ubuntu Net Alliance event, there is no other African country with this infrastructure you have here available. And in my first year, I was traveling around and visiting universities. And I was asking about Hackfest, uh, not Hackfest, uh, Ethernet. And they did not know about Ethernet. This was not known for uh, vice presidents, for presidents even. Sometimes even the IT people did not know. Of course, uh, because those working with Ethernet, they are not in the management position, I assume. They are for the, the don't have really the knowledge about Ethernet. But through my background as an economist, I'm all them looking for the return. Even if it's education, we need a return. It's not intangible way, but intangible way. Here, Ethiopian government has invested so much and uh, in infrastructure, education, and what can be the return. And in my understanding, the return would be that most students, researchers, lecturers take advantage of Ethernet, take the national advantage going further to the Ubuntu Net advantage, East and South African Research and Education Network, moving further to Xi'an, to Europe, and then spread out to the world. You have done now a wonderful job, perfect job. But now, your work has to reach the users. Who are the users? If users don't understand what you have done, they will not use. And here I jump in again as an economist and would like to ask you to write one page what you have done what you could communicate maybe to your father or your mother, because they don't know, I assume they don't know what you are doing. I assume they are in my age. We, we are users, but we are not experts. That means try to explain that to your mother, your father, what you have done here. And this one page, please bring them to Salalam or to me. We will then use this one page for communication to spread it out. There is the monthly bulletin for the universities that we come somehow to the audience, that they understand what you are doing, that they know what, what is available here. You have done a great job. Especially the first one reminded me to a presentation I gave at the University Spire last October. But from the user side, 
not that what you have presented is, I had not the idea how to do that, but from the user side. Therefore, please take your time, one page in the most understandable way you can write. We can meet, I assist you, that we can bring this together and then we have to promote that. We have to bring it out of the classroom, of the laboratory, out of internet. Thank you very much. Thank you, Roberto. Thank you, Selailam, for what you have made possible. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Margaret, for this uh, very kind words and also for the very useful suggestion. I think that uh, uh, the Ethernet website should uh, advertise this, it should uh, contain this uh, one pager about what has been done. And as Alazar said, should also contain a list of the services and how they can be used by the different, I mean, the different users, I mean, researchers and uh, um, scientists belonging to several disciplines. So uh, if there are no more, yeah, please. Thank you very much. Grazie, vielen Dank. I'm a Sagnalo, Brown Ubayene from Ethiopian Civil Service University, African Institute of Governance and uh, Development. Uh, I want to thank the initiators, the organizers, the performers, uh, all who have made this uh, event possible. And of course, uh, you have done a good job. We have something that we uh, use it further. I thank also for the organization of the video streaming and uh, the digitization, what we have organized at the Ethiopian Civil Service University, the Learning Development Center. I have not much to say, uh, but uh, what's next? We have done now a lot of things. It's a good job. If you leave it at this stage, in two weeks, in three weeks, in a month, two months, it diminishes and uh, we may be landing where we were before. So how do we continue? I wish if we pursue, continue with the development of uh, digital contents. I was discussing my, with my colleagues. Now we have the state of art infrastructure, building uh, infrastructure without having any content will dry. A highway which is built nicely and if you don't have any vehicle to drive on that, <coughs> grass will grow. That was what we are discussing. So I wish if this team strives to integrate content development, a collaborative content development platform, authoring system in this system, if teachers, professors elsewhere can work together on content development. Probably it could be the Ethiopian MOOC where we can share for uh, teaching, learning, and knowledge management. We have a lot of knowledge piled elsewhere, but uh, we, have to, we have to use it. We have to use it. And I wish, I wish if we are able to develop content which is interactive, which adds value to the learners. You know, in most of the cases, we are overloaded with information that doesn't help neither the teacher nor the students. It must be interactive. We should be able to teach the students actively participating and learn reflectively. So if we are able to develop such a content, I think we'll be a champion as the young man uh, has stressed. At last, I want to invite you so that we can establish a national e-learning platform as well as a national expertise of uh, Ethiopian. We have to develop 
national experts, young people are overall, we have to work, network, we have to collaborate. Zalalem has done a good job. Here we have a center. This must be a nucleus to attract all experts all over the country and all over the world for that matter. Uh, maybe my suggestion and my plea for the, the organizers, for the experts, if we are able to organize such a workshop, which will be, uh, in fact, uh, the, next, the next workshop on digitization, more on digitization, content development, and having a common learning platform, as well as digitizing, and having the uh, resources uh, on the repository that we can share. Thank you very much. That's what I can say. Thanks. Thank you very much also for the recommendation. Uh, personally, I would say that uh, I'm impressed uh, how long we have been uh, walking uh, until now. Uh, I remember that uh, my first time in Ethiopia was back in the end of October when I was invited to a conference by Margaret. And uh, uh, also, all the, I mean, we decided, I mean, we decided also to run a Saigeya worship. And there was a lot of interest. And I think that uh, this Hackfest was born in those days when we, we uh, felt the uh, need of creating a training to bring the know-how and train the trainers. Uh, yeah, but now what's next? Personally, until the end of Asai Geya and even beyond, uh, we will continue supporting the champions here, the, the applications, and uh, we are very keen and willing to join you in the preparation of any kind of proposal that could attract additional funds. Actually, we are already doing this. We did with Margaret in the past weeks. So we are preparing a proposal for uh, uh, another Horizon 2020 uh, call. And if there are national calls here and you need our help to define proposals for the technical part of the proposal, we will be uh, 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 very happy to, very willing to, to, to help you in preparing, preparing these proposals. Concerning events, uh, I mean, if you organize any kind of high-level events, I would be very happy to, to come. And I think that at that event, we as Europeans should uh, speak less and champions here should speak more and demonstrate what they have done. So I think that if you organize this kind of events and we manage to organize a demo session or even a tutorial uh, to demonstrate users how to upload a paper or a presentation on the open access repository or even a digital content on the MOOC platform, this would be very nice and very interesting and, very interesting, and I would be very keen to, uh, to do it, to come back and to help you organize in this. Uh, any final comments? Okay, so if not, we can close this session and we reconvene in a moment for the uh, uh, certificate uh, awarding. Okay, so let's finish for this moment.